On the eve of March, the most exciting month in college basketball, it's senior day at Dratty Gymnasium in the Bronx, and a critical Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference women's basketball clash comes your way here on ESPN3. The second meeting of the year between the Fairfield Stags and the Manhattan College Jaspers. These two teams separated by just one game in the MAC standings with a victory today on Senior Day. Manhattan can pull into a tie for third place in the MAC with just one week left to play. We welcome you courtside here at Dratty Gymnasium alongside Dominique Patrick. I'm Jason Garrett. These two teams have gone in opposite directions as of late. Fairfield has lost four of their last five, including their last two. Meanwhile, last weekend for Manhattan, they went up to the western New York area and swept the Buffalo trip for the first time in six years. They've won two straight, looking for a third straight win. Yeah, and it's going to be a great game today. You know, the last time they matched up, you can look at the stats and you see there are no huge numbers that jumped out besides them shooting 60% from three-pointers. I mean, the Stags had an outstanding night, but that was an outlier. So the two teams that are coming in today, they're definitely fighting for that spot in conference play, and they're trying to end the season strong. Speaking of senior day, we are going to focus on two senior post players who will match up today. For Fairfield, 27 points, a career high for Katie Armstrong the last time these two teams matched up. And this woman can ball right here. I mean, she hit five threes the last time they matched up, 19 points in the first half. So you have to make sure that she's not going to give you any problems. She can cause some matchup issues and can step outside that arc and knock her down. you got to find her at all times. Of the four Manhattan seniors, meanwhile, Julie Hoyer is the lone scholarship four-year senior for Manhattan, and she has almost doubled her scoring in conference play. And you know, we've called her a garbage player throughout the year, but there is nothing trash about her game. Do not be fooled. She cleans up around the rim. She can step back. She was working on her offensive growth, and she stepped up and been a great leader for her team. Ball movement against the zone. Kaju whipping it up top for Mycius. Bit of trouble on the catch, and then she finds the point underneath for two. Shot clock winding down. Mycius looking like a point guard herself there. Inside Duffel, isolated on the smaller Morgan. Got her hand in, though, and was able to steal it from behind. No numbers back the other way for Manhattan. They don't care. Emily LaPointe yet again in transition. Here's the ball movement again. Richardson, a little too short. Kaju in amongst the trees for the rebound, and now a three on two breaks out the other way. Worley to the hoop for two. She was hit as well, and the crowd wanted a foul on that play, but Worley now with six points. Great. Hand off the mark, trying to answer in kind, and here comes Gabby Kaju into the Manhattan front court. Hands to a cutting Hoyer. Reverse layup off the window and down. It's back to a six point lead for Marist. Once again, the Jaspers press and a turnover. The steal by LaPointe. Up ahead, Kaju for the finish. This is Jasper basketball here in the Bronx. And that's what they want to do. Deanna Winston, time winding down. She will get a pass off to Williamson. Three at the horn, and she's got it. Ashley Williamson on the press breaker knocks down the three. A big shot for Sienna to take a five point lead into the fourth quarter. Sydney Watkins, Jaspers once again can tie it with a three pointer here with 2.41 to go. LaPointe for the tie. Yes, sir! Wow. 21 points for Emily LaPointe. We're tied at 60. <laughs> Hoyer off the inbounds pass, off on the jumper. Another offensive rebound. The point off the window, plus one. It's all Jaspers down the stretch here in the Bronx. Manhattan up by five here with 4.55 remaining in the third quarter on senior day, 32 to 27. One of the seniors is Pamela Mycius. Jason Garrett, Dominic Patrick with you. And Mycius has maybe the most interesting story of all the seniors. She was high school teammates with Gabby Kaju in Rockland County, and it was Coach Heather Vulin's husband, Kevin, who actually saw in a newspaper article that Pamela Mycius was going to school here at Manhattan with Gabby Kaju on an academic scholarship, and also saw that she was six foot one, and the Jaspers, in desperate need of post players, decided to check it out. And as it turns out, a presidential scholarship for Mycius as there is Kevin Vulin sitting behind the Jasper bench as usual. But anyway, Mycius did not join the team her freshman year as she needed to achieve a certain GPA to keep that presidential scholarship she did and then walked onto the team. A couple of years later, she earned a scholarship and now she's one of the leading shot blockers in the MAC, Dominique. Always playing protector down by that rim. We saw her been doing a great job passing and finding her teammates as well, but as Minna hits the shot. But Mycius has just been a huge 
vocal leader for this team. She's very, she's very animated out there. She's a lot of fun to watch, and she loves to play defense. You can tell she will block a shot, and she would get so hyped for her teammates and for herself, really. And uh, she's just been a joy to watch, and hearing her story is just absolutely amazing. The spin by Lopez Seneschal couldn't get the teardrop to fall. Kramer in amongst the trees, grabs the offensive rebound. And it will remain with the Stags here. Six point Manhattan lead. Take a look at the replay and Mena sticking the arm in, deflecting it out. Everybody's got a story and these Manhattan, this Manhattan senior class is is full of great stories, which we've told you all throughout this broadcast. Landy around a good screen by Armstrong to the baseline, only five to shoot. Not sure if she realizes it. Pass deflected, stolen by Worley. Here come the Jaspers, here comes Gabby Kaju. Drive and dish, LaPointe from two point range, yes. Great pass from the senior Kaju. We talked about, you know, it's not her senior day. She's coming back. But she's just such a leader for this team, finding her teammates. You see her right there being able to settle down this offense, finding LaPointe. And we've been seeing LaPointe and Kaju interchangeable now, running the offense, which has been a great thing for the Jaspers. I know Coach Heather Rulin is happy to see that. Ball loose on the deck. Scrum for it. And we've got a jump ball called. Possession arrow will favor Manhattan here. Armstrong and Worley diving on the deck for the basketball there. Both high motor, high energy players. Not surprised that they found themselves battling for a loose ball inside. Mena high post, quickly down to Worley. Turnaround shot over Armstrong, no good. Lopez Seneschal ripping away the rebound. She draws a foul as well on Gabby Kaju. Kaju picks up her second. Lopez Seneschal leads the Stags with 11 points. And she might be the most well-traveled player in the MAC. Hailing from Grenoble, France on the roster, but she was born in Mexico and then was playing in Ireland when Fairfield found her. That is four different countries that she has been a part of. Pass out high by Armstrong, stolen away by Worley. She's all alone for the basket on the other end. And you see the length being so disruptive for the Jasper. has been able to tip the ball. And Fairfield's got to do a better job of making that passing lane move. But we've been talking about her all game. Courtney Worley just doing whatever the team needs. And she's that defense of spark that they have needed throughout the year. Armstrong way short on the three. Lopez Seneschal once again battling for the loose ball, but Worley comes up with it. Worley now with 16 points for the Jaspers who have their largest lead of the game. They look inside. Hoyer able to catch somehow and finds the space to get the shot off. Just a bit too strong. Fairfield looking to get a bucket here. Jaspers on a bit of a run. Kramer circling, surveying the defense and backing it out for Kendra Landy. Inside two minutes to go in the third. Fairfield was up by one at the break. And now we're down by 10. Landy finds some space and she puts in her second basket of the game. A point back the other way for Manhattan. Sini Makala back in off of the bench. Handles here up top for Mena. Now high post to Hoyer. Fairfield swarming in the zone defense, looking to amp up the effort. Makala looks inside, pass deflected, but it comes to Hoyer. Outside LaPointe, quick trigger on the three, and a little too strong on the line drive. Landy in transition for Fairfield, Kramer outside. Lopez Seneschal steps into it, can't get it to go. Fairfield, though, the offensive rebound, it's Kramer. Not too many often, uh, not too many times do you see Lopez Seneschal miss a wide open three like that. Again, 39% from deep this year. She's been red hot as of late, too. Armstrong inside, one-on-one -on -one with Hoyer. A great move baseline. She draws the foul with one on the shot clock. Tough move for her to spin around and find something, just trying to find an answer for her team right now. I mean, they scored the last possession, but it's been a little bit of a lid. You know, it's kind of halfway open right now for the, for the Stags, and Armstrong has been, you know, a little quiet up until this point throughout the third period. But she was going to work in the first half, so looking to give her a few more touches. She definitely has the moves down there. Um, in her in her bag that she knows that she can be able to get the shot 
that she wants, so hopefully she can be able to reward herself with the free throw line. She missed the first one. Sorry. <laughs> Two of three now is Armstrong at the line today. Eight points all in the first half. Armstrong three out of ten from the field. 0 of three from three-point range. Four turnovers as well. She knocks down the second free throw, which gives her nine, but a stark contrast to the 27 that she had, 19 of which in the first half against Manhattan on January 23rd at home. Now a seven-point lead for the Jaspers. Gabby Kaju will run the point here with LaPointe and Watkins, a three-guard lineup for Manhattan, a rare one down the stretch here this year. Inside, though, Worley. Outside, back to LaPointe, tries a three and rattles it home. Emily LaPointe with her second three-pointer. She's got 14 points, seven here in the third quarter, and back to the largest lead for the Jaspers at 10. A three-second different shot to game clock. Kramer around a screen. Jaspers are there defensively. Kramer tries to dish. Hernan Gomez back in, but she could not handle the pass. Shot clock is off. Here comes Kaju inside LaPointe. Bangs with Lopez Senechal, and an offensive foul is called. Just a little bit of the extension of the right arm there for LaPointe. And Lopez Senechal takes the charge. LaPointe charged with her second foul. And took it for the second time on LaPointe. You know, she's been waiting for it. LaPointe had, gave her a little bit of a push on that one, you know, but Lopez Senechal been looking for it now. Deep shot at the buzzer, no. And how about the Jaspers in that third quarter? They outscore Fairfield 17 to six. Hold the Snacks to two of 10 shooting and force a bunch of turnovers as well. They're in command on senior day. Jaspers looking for a third consecutive win, fourth quarter next on ESPN3.